Hey guys, I've been living here at Stanford for almost a year now, in the heart of Silicon Valley, and one of the biggest things I've noticed is it's all about instant gratification here. Because of the app economy, we can literally summon any type of good or food to our doorstep just with a simple press of a button on our smartphones, which we carry around with us all day long. And if that wasn't magical enough, sometimes those deliveries are guaranteed within the hour. So I'm going to test this week to see if these digital conveniences really do make life better or if they're just making us more demanding and ungrateful. The gimmick, if there's an app for it, I have to use it. Welcome to Dane's Guide to Living in Silicon Valley. When you need food, don't buy it, summon it. Because that's what people do in Silicon Valley. This is my life hack for living in the Silicon Valley. Order your food from a meal kit service like Sunbasket, or like what I did last week, Blue Apron, or Munchery, or Purple Carrot, or Hello Fresh, or Marley Spoon. Why figure out what you're going to make when someone else can figure it out for you, like an app? We're having ricotta stuffed chicken breast with tomato panzanella. Someone else, someone figured out how to make that for me and sent me the ingredients. Grilled non panini with summer squash and arugula pesto. Thank you. And almond crusted cod with charmula and cucumber olive salad. I just summoned this to me through the internet. On to the next app of convenience. So my sister's coming into town tonight, and we need to get more groceries. We need to get toilet paper, diapers, snacks. Um, I could go out and get that stuff, or I use Google Express. I can just order the stuff that I only need from any of the stores that I want. This is huge. I can order it directly from Costco and have it delivered to me within 24 hours. Here we go. And that's how you do your grocery shopping, with an app. There are few things as ubiquitous as air, but in Silicon Valley, Uber and Lyft are ubiquity. We have to go run an errand, and we could drive ourselves, but it's Silicon Valley. Someone else is going to drive us for us. So, we called a lift. There's always a lift and always an Uber. It is complete ubiquity. Super sweet. I'm gonna use it on my test drive today. Nice, DJI. Not while he's driving. Yes. Nice. Is it driving itself right now? Yes, it is. It is driving its freaking self. <laughs> In the rare event that you do need to take your own car, make sure it's a car that drives itself. That's how you get around in Silicon Valley. Is your turn signal? And left. Tell it to go to the left. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. You good? How does it read those lines?
place. Our Uber is here. Let's go. Nice. What's up? Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, my Uber driver wants to say hey. Hey, how's it going? Peace. Palo Alto native. Watch out. Whoa! <laughs> Postmates doing Asian box. There's the hot box, choice of protein. Two, one. Food, we just summoned food, and it'll be here in 30 minutes. We did not even have to get up. Going into the city, into San Francisco, to go to the SF MoMA, and we can find parking ourselves, but of course we can't. We have to use an app called Lux, L-U-X-E. We tell them where we're going to go, and a guy on a scooter comes and takes our car and valet parks it in their special parking garages. But a part of Part of these apps is sharing them with others and getting free credit. So I am sent a code to my sister. Show yourself. Oh. <laughs> to my sister. And now she's downloaded the app and she's going to do the parking. I'm going to get free credit. She's going to get free credit. And everybody Ew. wins. Yes. Here we go. Summon that parking valet, valet scooter man. There he is, we found him. You right? I just zoom in like that. Okay, so I... just go straight through this. Straight through? Yeah. And then you can just hold off to the right after the dude in the car. Perfect. This is a nice area. That was a good lift ride. That was a really good lift ride, wasn't it? Yeah. I think so. Hey, Jose. So I'm looking up other food delivery apps and they have really weird names. Like this one. Foodler. <laughs> Elise, did you get that food from Foodler? Dude, I totally did. Foodler's my fave. Have you seen my Foodler account? Stop foodlering around. That's messed up right there. Okay. Next one. Dobies. Like the word dough and then bees. A lot of all the names you could ever think of. Dobies? At least how much do you think it cost? A lot of money. I'm saying at least fifty. Yeah. Fifty seven. Not bad. Jose. That's what happens. We had to take that, at least. We had to take it. So I'm in my car. And I just realized I only have two bars of gasoline. Uh, turn off AC. Whatever that means. What does two bars of gasoline mean? I could go get gas, or I could use this nifty app called Filled. F-I-L-L-D. Please stop misspelling names on purpose. It's kind of gross.
anyways, filled, I just put in my license plate number, my credit card, and my address. Three kind of important pieces of information, I just realized. And then these people in a truck come and fill up my car for me. I just have to leave the gas cap open, and they close it up after they've done filling it up with gas, and bam, it only cost me three bucks. Are you kidding me? It's crazy. So, gotta open the gas cap, turn off the car again, and I should be ready to go. All right, the time is 8.18. Let's go see if people from Filled, F-I-L-L-D, filled up my car in the middle of the night. <laughs> Moment of truth. What? <laughs> it's filled. It's filled. They filled it up with gas. Can you even see that? They filled it up with gas. They filled it up with gas. It is all the way. It had two bars. Now it has all bars. That only cost me three bucks. And. They even closed my gas cap, so I know that they were here. This is insane! Whoa! I like that one. That's super convenient. There's this app called Turo, and I can use it to rent a car. So I need to rent a car for Saturday for the wedding gig I'm shooting. But it's not just renting a car from Avis Hertz. It's renting other people's cars. There's an app for that. And I just rented myself a Honda Fit. This is happening right now. I'm driving someone else's car. I am driving someone else's car. Are you kidding me? How much gas do I have? When you need things in a real hurry, you know, you'd rush to a convenience store, you'd rush to the grocery store, wherever you need to go to get your stuff. But there's Amazon Prime now, which is like all the cool stuff of Amazon Prime, you know, two-day shipping. Well, that's snail speed. We're talking within the hour. I'm not kidding. I order something with Amazon Prime now, it will be delivered to my doorstep within one hour. So, I have a bunch of stuff I want to order, let's see, mm, maybe a power strip would be good, some masking tape, so I got myself some, I got sugar, I got iron on t-shirt print sheets, I got some Kleenex, some potatoes, some onions, Search protector and some rice cakes. Those all seem like things I need right now. Here we go. Here we go. It's requesting. Wait. It ordered. It did it. It's gonna be here in an hour. So I'm just gonna wait here until it arrives. Here we go. Using all these apps this week has 
been really, it's just been hard work. It's been a little stressful. It's been a lot to it. But something I didn't realize is I've always been using these digital buttons, these digital apps to like summon things. And there's this thing called Flick. It's this little button. And I've programmed it so if I hold it down, it will order me a pizza and it will arrive at that door. Should we try it, Elise? Let's do it. Should we see if this button will summon us Summoning pizza? Summoning pizza. Okay. It'll also... It, okay. Fine. Okay. Go. Hold it down. Keep holding. supposed to play I that song. I program this thing. When you hold it down, it triggers if this then that, that app. And that app tweets from my t Twitter account to Domino's a pizza emoji. Hashtag easy order. Which Domino's lets you order pizza through a tweet using those things. It'll order the pizza that's saved on my Domino's pizza profile and like send it, make it, and send it to the address that's saved in that profile. Once it does all that, it plays this stupid pizza song that I found on the internet. Which means it worked. A pizza's coming, Elise! Pizza! A pizza's coming! Pizza guy! Yes! It flippin' worked. This button, this pizza just arrived. This, I press this button, and a pizza came to my door. I press this button, a pizza came to my door. I press, oh. Yes! Um. Oh yeah. So, after using apps for a whole week, only apps, the biggest impression I've had is it's expensive. It really just is expensive to have all this convenience. And it makes me wonder, what's the point of all this? If we're creating all these apps and these systems and these services to create more convenience, does that mean we're just creating more time for us to work? so we can be busier and end up creating more services to be more convenient. It's just kind of like this never-ending loop. And that's kind of what it felt like. Summoning pizza with a button, or taking an Uber, or having someone else park my car. It's like, yeah, it's convenient, but is it allowing me to have a better life or just a busier life? It makes me wonder if it's just this futility of progress. We create these things so that we can do more. And really, it seems like these apps are just an enabler or a disabler. It can enable you to do more, to spend more time with your family, with your friends, really be a good thing, or a disabler. If you wanted to be alone and seclude yourself, you literally would never have to leave your house. You could work from home and have everything delivered to you. you never have to drive yourself again. So it's both good and bad. And these apps that I've used, these are my guidebook to living in Silicon Valley and I recommend to use them for good to create more time to have more time to be with your friends and family but also just to have some fun it, it's been a blast using these apps and I definitely gonna continue using them for good thanks for watching guys stay tuned for next week's vlog Driving itself?